A Gingerbread Christmas Told by Susan St. James Music by Van Dyke Parks It was Christmas Eve morning at the North Pole. Everywhere you looked, there was activity. There was still so much to do before Santa's sleigh took off. Santa was just then checking his list the second time around when Mrs. Claus brought something to his attention. It was a letter they had just received. Dear Mr. Santa, it read, Bear Fussfudget has canceled Christmas here in Gloomsbury. Can he do this? Can you help? Please advise. Yours truly, a concerned citizen. How could anyone have canceled Christmas? There wasn't a moment to waste. And so, Pressing the letter G on his new touchtone telephone, Santa was able to speed dial his dear friends, the Prince and Princess of Gingerbread, faster than he could say, ho, ho, ho. Ginger, he said, Spice, a terrible thing has happened. I've received a letter that says they've canceled Christmas in Gloomsbury. I shall have to enlist your diplomatic services at once. Please meet me at the train station in 10 minutes. As Ginger and Spice stood on the steps of the train, Santa gave them their special instructions. As the North Pole's own royal ambassadors of goodwill, it is your mission to reinstate Christmas in Gloomsbury. We will not fail you, Santa, Ginger said. Long live Christmas, said Spice. And with that, they gave him a final Christmas salute, and the train pulled away toward the distant town of Gloomsbury. Now, when Spice and Ginger arrived in Gloomsbury, they could hardly believe their eyes. There wasn't a single Christmas decoration in sight. Not a red bulb, nor a green bulb, nor a Christmas star anywhere. Then they saw a newspaper headline. Mayor cancels Christmas. Yuletide hoopla, just a waste of time, he declares. They really have canceled Christmas. No kidding, said a voice. A little girl poked her head out from behind the newspaper. Haven't you heard? The mayor says Christmas is unproductive. Merry Christmas, said Spice. And who are you? The name's Hank. Don't wear it out, though, boy. What's with the cookie get-ups? We are the Prince and Princess of Gingerbread from the North Pole. Santa sent us. Have a candy cane, Miss Hank, said Ginger, taking one out from her suitcase. But Hank wasn't buying. Sorry, sister, she said. I can't eat candy canes. They're illegal. Well, Merry Christmas anyway, said Ginger and Spice as they set off to begin their work. But it wasn't going to be easy to bring Christmas back to Gloomsbury. You see, the mayor of Gloomsbury, Franklin Peppercorn Fussbudget III, had canceled Christmas because he thought it was a waste of time. As far as he was concerned, all holidays took up valuable time that might have been better spent working. Chief O'Hara. I hereby order you to arrest anyone who so much as mentions Christmas. Yes, sir, he said. Anyone so much as whispers Merry Christmas, I'll call in the SWAT team. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, shouted Ginger and Spice.